Welcome back. All right, right now we're gonna start on our baked beans, baby. Now baked beans are done by many different people, different ways. Uh, and again, it's all your call on that. So for my baked beans, first thing we'll do is grind some ground beef. I got a little small roll like this. I'm not gonna do the whole thing though. Just a little bit. I don't want to open too much. That's why I open like that. That way, when I'm done with it, bam, twist it up, put it in a plastic bag, it's good to go. So, I don't want to open it all the way up. All right, you get that brown. We just brown I'll be right back, all right? All right, so I got it brown right here. That's all you gotta do. Ain't got any cooked all the way because you're gonna put it in the beans and it's gonna cook and then when it's simmering. So you wanna turn the fire down, kick it off the fire, and let's cut up our sausage. That's what we put in the beans next. All right, so I'm gonna cut off some hot links now. Just some, nothing special about the hot links. You get any kind of hot links you want. If you want hot links in it, you might not want hot links in it. You might just want ground beef by itself. You might not want ground beef, you might just want hot links. So it's, it's again, this all boils down to what you like and your stuff. So, cut it up like this. You know, nothing special to cut up. You can dice it. I like to make these mine. You know, like that. A lot of fat season in there. It might be pretty good. I'll probably do one more after this one. That should be enough sauce that everybody's gonna get some. Cause you know you get some good stuff like this, and you got sausages in there. People like sausage, they try to get the sausage out for every scoop. So you wanna make sure you try to get enough so everybody can get their share of beans with the sausage, sausage with the beans, you know what I'm saying? We're almost done, man. After this scent, then we are all set to go on the foods, man. Everything be ready. I think it ends. I don't like to end like that. Now sit right there. Take this to the take this uh to the stove and get ready for the pot, y'all. Alright, welcome back. We're at the pot now. That's, right, that's the beans I got, baked beans. That's it, cheap, cheap, a cheap brand. Now, if you're gonna add stuff to your your, your beans and make them kind of your own, there's no need to go pay $4 for one can because it says, you know, barbecue style or hickory style, or it says, uh, you know, all kinds of styles. And you get the cheap brand that you're gonna hook up yourself and good to go, you know, this is uh, a cheap brand, so. You know I have some of really, really, so we're gonna pour the cans, I got four cans. Just gonna pour it in there like that. I think, I can't remember the price of this can. They were not expensive though. And four cans might be a lot of beans, man, but it's gonna be some eating tonight and round two tomorrow. You know we have barbecue, and I'm gonna, you never know we're gonna stop by. You know what I'm saying? Never know. So, 
So it's a lot of beans right there. All right, got four big ass cans of beans. Get them in there like that, they're good to go. I got the heat on already. Got my onions. <laughs> so I'm gonna dice some onions up too, put it in there. So I'm gonna bring this up to simmer and then I'll be back. Alright. Alright, welcome back, y'all. I got the beans in the pot. Got the heat on them already. I keep them stirred though, because I'm usually gonna want the metal pots really uh uh thin, so you don't want it to burn in the bottom. Uh start putting in your stuff, your ground beef. Again, get the ground beef fine as you possibly can get it. You know, because you're gonna use a lot of ground beef in the first place. I really just gonna be enough for some flavor. Put that in there. Bam, like that. That's good to go right there. Get it mixed in there. Get the fire low though, because you don't want to burn the bottom. You know you burn beans, it's over. It's a wrap. So keep it keep it stirred. Another good thing to do too is not just ground beef, is also use sausage, a uh, ground sausage. That's a really good way too. But since I was using the other sausage, hot links, I, I didn't want to mix it together with that too. So I got just the ground beef here, put that in there real good. Add my brown sugar to it. Put that in there real good. Not only that, some of that barbecue sauce you hooked up earlier. Get the, get the, get the little, uh, so that in there. Remember, you do do it to taste because, again, you can, uh, you can add stuff to it, man, but you can't take stuff out. So make sure you do everything to taste. Don't be trying to rush and get it done and look at our boss. Thank you, Emerald. Cook it slow, man, but you want to get it right. Pop up one more scoop in there, though. One more small scoop in there. That should be good right there. Remember, get the fire low. You don't want to burn it. Just stir it up in there like that. I'm gonna add my sausage now. My hot links, baby. Get them in there. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna cool it down and you want to kind of turn the heat up right here. Just a little bit because the sausage is gonna go in there and the, uh, the onion is gonna go in there and what that's gonna do, it's gonna pretty much you know, cool it down, so. Sauce is up in there, boy. All right. And now I'm good to go. Now, I had to get some of them out of the way first. Now we just dump it like this now. Get it all up in there, baby. All in there. All the yumness. Appreciate y'all watching this and joining me today. Well, look, cook that's like we cook it all together. Only thing missing is smell of vision. Scratch a sniff or something. Get that mixing up good. It's a big pot of beans, baby. Everybody should get some shit today. And I would still kind of keep it low right here. Even though the, the onions and the sauces cooled it down some, uh, took the temperature down, I would still just keep it low so you don't burn it, man. Cause like I said, you know when beans get burnt, you throw the whole pot away, baby. And we ain't trying to waste no money here, that's right. Try to get everything in there, man. Everything mixed really good.
And you really need to add no more seasoning to this, man. Because it has the sauces in there, the onions, you know, the ground beef. I ain't put any salt on the ground beef at all. Uh, but the but the beans already had a little something. I think, I think the beans had a little bit of uh, brown sugar in it. Um, a little bit of tangy sauce. So I'm going to taste it. Let me give me a spoon so I can taste it. Like I said, you got you no know, do it to taste, baby. Let's see what's up. Put the sauce really nice taste. Mm. Yeah, I like what it tastes. Once that sauce gets in there, cook it up. Once the sauce gets hot in there and, and boils up, man, it's gonna really have a good flavor. It's already got a good sweet taste. I like, I like sweet things, so. Good man. I might put in um a little more brown sugar here, I think. Just a little bit more. So if you're gonna if you're gonna use sugar, you use brown sugar. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's sugar bad for you, period, but uh, brown sugar is a little bit better than using this the white sugar or either the um what's the other sugar called? It's um it's real pure. I can't even think of it. My, my wife had maybe some coffee with it. And uh, she was saying that it was a little bit better than the white white sugar. Because it was so pure. And of course it's better than equals. Equal stuff will kill you. Even though I, I, I use like equal in my, you know, like sodas, between sodas, diet sodas and uh, coffee. But, you know, keep it stirred up. I probably would just watch it, you know, keep it stirred up, watch it to start bubbling up all over. And when it start bubbling up, then maybe I would just obviously take it out the fire, uh, off the, the, the stove, and then move it to the side, and then um, let it just simmer. Because, you know, you're still gonna take it to the to the family house and then put it on a little bit of heat there to kind of keep it warm, which means it's gonna, it's gonna pretty much you know, simmer some more, even more over there. But once the sausages get to get nice and soft, you can see when I first cut them up, it's kind of hard. No, raw salt. Hey, my finger warmer here, so it's kind of hard. Oops, my cat at. <laughs> he will try to eat this. Uh, all right. And again, once it boils up, that's when all the special activity starts, and uh, that's when it's gonna start exploding with all the flavor, y'all. So this is pretty much it, man. We're done. With everything, we are done, man. We already got everything ready to go. Meats in the freezer, marinating. I got the beans going, sauce good to go. I don't think there's nothing else left to do but just finish up them beans and barbecue gonna start, y'all. So hey, appreciate y'all hanging with me today. I wish you could have some of this in. If I could, I'll email you some, but you know how that goes. So it's your boy Sincere Beat. It's really like a Vader 6. Uh, day, but I probably won't post the rest of this stuff till probably tomorrow as in part. So we're just gonna call it I don't even know what part this is gonna be, but uh part something, 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 and cooking. <laughs> so uh hey man, you want you want the recipe for the sauce, if you forget it or something, hit me up on the email at ask.sensibe at gmail.com. Follow me on Twitter at sensibb. Hit me up there. You want some barbecue uh, recipes? I'll hook you up. Except for that special part. You thought you had me again, didn't you? Ha! You can't fool me, fool. All right, y'all. So I think I said, yeah, that's it. What's your boy? Sincere B, baby. I'm going to say Vader out because it's part of Vader 6. Have a good weekend. Have a safe weekend. I hope y'all party hard tonight. Tonight is Saturday night. Get your boogie on. What the fuck is this I'm doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm out, y'all. Peace.